Today, I'm gonna to show you how to add transitions and audio to your video editing in Photoshop. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on flurn.com where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And this is part three of a four part video series on working with video in Photoshop. So if you guys didn't catch the part one or the part two videos, be sure to do so right now. We'll put a link on your screen so you guys can go back and watch those. We showed you the basics of video editing in Photoshop in part one, how to import your footage, how to work with your timeline and the layers. Then in part two, we showed you how to color grade your video. We showed you how to edit color locally and globally, as well as how to add filters to your video footage. And now here in part three, we're gonna be going over adding transitions and audio to your video clips in Photoshop. So when you load video footage into either Photoshop or any other video editing program, by default, you don't have any transitions. So when you play the movie back, you have one clip followed by another clip followed by another clip. And the gap between those clips sometimes can be a little bit rough or like jarring. Sometimes you're looking for something that's going to help combine those clips together and make it basically visually appear a little bit more complete. So instead of a solid like boom, this is like end of one clip, beginning of another one, you have transitions. And an example of a transition would be like a cross dissolve or a fade where one clip can fade into the other. So now we're gonna show you how to use these transitions in Photoshop to create a more coherent video. So jumping into Photoshop, here's our video so far. Now we've spent episodes one and two creating this. So again, if you guys haven't watched those, be sure to do so. You can also download the footage that we use to create this video on flurn.com. Just click on your screen right now and you'll get to that footage. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at our current video here in Photoshop. I'm gonna hit play and we're gonna watch the amazingness happen. So we've got a fade in, if you remember, a nice camera pan, switching to another scene, going yet to a piano, and then we've got a spin scene coming up, and then another scene on the bed. And you can see there are no transitions in between each of these frames. So the, basically the gap in between them, it, it's a very stark difference. And I've got it set to loop, so it's gonna go all the way from the beginning to the end. So what we wanna do is figure out where transitions are going to help our video come together a little bit more. All right, so let's go ahead and apply our first transition. So we've got some footage here of basically a pull focus on a piano that goes directly into our subject spinning around wearing a dress. Okay, now it's pretty stark right here. It just kind of like flops from one bit of footage to another. So what we're gonna do is over here on our, right below where you see timeline, you have some controls for your video playback. And then right over here on the right, we actually have our transitions. So we have things like fade, crossfade, fade with black, fade with white, and fade with color. Now, we're gonna be using a crossfade, which is what I would recommend whenever you're going to be combining two different scenes. So in this case, we're gonna be combining this one with that one. We have a duration of one second. We can change that after the fact. So keep in mind, if you know you want it to be two seconds or whatever, you can go ahead and plug that in. But if you want it to be you know, some arbitrary number, you can always change it after the fact. So let's click on our crossfade. I'm gonna click and drag this down into our footage. And you can see there's a black border around both of the pieces of footage. So when I let go, we get basically this shape that blends our pieces of footage together. So now when we click play, we can see the pull focus kind of pulls around and instead of having a really sharp transition from one scene to another, we have a really nice gradual pull from one to another. Now, if we did want to change the duration, all we have to do is click here on our actual transi on our <laughs> transition. That is not called a transition. That is called a transition. We just click here on our transition and then I can make my transition, I can change the duration either longer or shorter. So we're making it a little bit shorter. Now the trans, there we go. You can see it happened over less time, but the idea is the exact same. So not only can we move our video clips around, but I can also just by clicking right here on our transitions, I can make sure I've got control over those as well. All right. That's looking good. Let's go ahead and add a couple more to this video. All right, cool. Let's look at another example of a transition in our video. So here in our last piece of footage, let's go ahead and hit play there. We've got some great slider movement, but the clip kind of just ends. And for basically the last piece of footage in your video, sometimes you want it to kind of like fade out. So in this case, we're going to go to our transitions menu here. 
and I'm gonna go to fade with white. Now we're just gonna click and drag this to the end of that clip, and basically we're going to be fading out to white. So let's go ahead and hit play and see how that looks. There we go, that looks pretty good, but you know what, I think it could be a little bit longer. So I'm gonna click on my transition and I'm just going to drag it a little bit longer. And now, we should have a little bit more of a subtle effect. All right, so our video fades in from white, and then here at the end, it's fading back out to white. So we have a really nice bookend with our video. All right, cool. And then just to bring everything together, we're gonna to do a bunch of cross dissolves. So I'm gonna click here on our transitions. Here on our duration, we're going to go way down to like 0.5 seconds, and we're gonna bring in some cross fades. So it's cross dissolve, some video editing programs, this one happens to say cross fade. So let's click and drag that down to this area. We'll do another crossfade here. Click and drag that down there. <laughs> We're going a little bit crazy. By the way, it's not wrong to have one clip you just go into the, another one. You don't have to use transitions for everything you do. Um, I just happen to be teaching an episode on how to use them, so I figured I would do that same. All right, let's go ahead and look at that from the beginning. So we've got a fade in from white. Okay, quick transition. There we go, another quick transition, a longer transition there. Okay, a quick transition, another, and then a fade out to white. All right, and that looks really good, especially considering we did all that in Photoshop. So we've just learned how to add transitions to your videos, and getting a good handle on this can really make a difference in your final product. And as with pretty much everything else, this is an artistic choice. You don't have to stick a transition between every single frame, and there's really no right way to do it. It's whatever tells your story the best is the way you probably should do it. So going with story, a huge part of creating a great story is audio. So up until now, we've worked with our video here in Photoshop. Now it's time to jump in and show you how to add a little bit of audio. Cool. So if you look at your timeline, you've got a lot of different options here for playing your video. You can choose to have it play back with sound or without sound. Now let's go ahead and play back with sound because each of these clips that we brought in contains their own sound. So if I hit play, let's turn the volume up, you should be able to hear these. There we go. Now. In this case, we don't want all the audio from each of those individual clips because I'm gonna put a soundtrack over the entire thing. So I need to go through and mute the audio from every single clip. Okay, so to mute the audio from a clip in Photoshop, simply right click on the clip itself, go to your video, and then click down here to mute audio. So I'm just gonna do that with each of these clips. So right click, go to mute audio, right click, go to mute audio. All right, so now, we won't have any audio coming from the actual clips that make up our movie. Instead, we're going to wind up having just the audio from the overall music that we're gonna be adding in just a second. All right, cool. So now when I play this through, even with my volume on, we hear absolutely nothing, except my voice and my sexy breathing. <laughs> Not so sexy. All right, let's go ahead and figure out how to add audio clips to the entire source video. So the audio is located here in the timeline of our video. So we can see we have our video group, and then down here on the bottom, we have our audio track. Now, by default, we don't have an audio track chosen, so I need to go ahead and add one. And this can be anything. You can like sit there with a, you know, a sound recorder on your computer and you can sing along. It, it doesn't have to be anything professional. In this case, I'm using the soundtrack that we actually used for the Flurn method promo. So we're gonna click on this little music note here and go to add audio. All right, here is our audio. I can hit the space bar to go ahead and preview that. And that's what we're gonna be working with today. <laughs> Might not be the best choice given our short segment here, but that was the music we used for the original Flirn Method trailer. So let's go ahead and hit open. And now we can see our audio loads up just as though it were our video. So. You can see because it is so long, it's actually extending our track. So I'm gonna clip, click at the end and make sure that comes in and clips to the length of the rest of our footage. There we go. All right, let's go ahead to the beginning and play this with our audio now. Cool, and we can see what a difference that makes. 
Now, it started a little bit late with the audio. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of bring this in, editing it in the same way in which we would edit video. There we go, and that really helps to round out the footage. And in no time, I mean, we've, we've done all this from scratch from our first episode, we're getting something And I didn't hate that, which is pretty incredible considering I'm not a video editor at all. Very, very cool. And now just to make sure the audio fades out with our video, I'm gonna right click on our audio track and I'm gonna to go to fade out and we're just going to bring this up to about one second, maybe a little bit more than one second. And that's gonna go ahead and fade my audio out. Let's give that a test. Perfect. All right, guys, and there we have it. Video and audio and transitions in Photoshop. All right, guys, so when you're doing this on your own, just remember these key tips. First, transitions can make a huge difference in the final product. It can really make the video seem a lot more polished and edited. Fading in at the beginning and fading out at the end are a great way to bookend a video. You can use things like crossfades between clips to help merge them together. And you can change the duration of the transitions simply by clicking on the transition itself and dragging it to be either longer or shorter. To remove the audio from the original clips, we right clicked, clicked on the audio button, and then went down to mute. That way we're not getting anything that was recorded in camera. Then we added a song into our audio track. We previewed it in Finder, and when we knew it was the right one, we went ahead and put it in place, clipped a little bit off the beginning, and then faded out the end so it matched our video. All right guys, and that's all there is to creating transitions and adding audio to your videos in Photoshop. Now, keep in mind, this is just one of four videos that we're doing in this series. So if you haven't caught the others, be sure to do so as well. And if you have any ideas for a new episode or a question about today's episode, or you just wanna tell me how awesome my hair looks today, I'm totally okay with that. Leave it in a comment right down below. I'd love to hear from you. Also, if you like getting things for free and you like Photoshop and photography and learning and having fun and hanging out with me, just click on your screen right now. It's gonna subscribe you to our YouTube channel. No big deal, we just send you free Photoshop and photography episodes every single week. You don't have to do anything except click on your screen and we would greatly appreciate it. I'm gonna come through this camera and give you a big hug if I figure out how to do that ever. All right guys, <laughs> thanks so much for watching Flurn. I'll Flurn you later. We'll see you in part four. Bye everyone. Video transmission, transmissions. That's not what we're talking about. Nope, not even close. So when you load photo footage, video footage, all right, followed by another clip. And right, whew, let's do it again. You nailed this, you're gonna do great. All right, so let's go ahead and click on our transmissions. <laughs> transmissions, that is not what that is. So a transition is basically a way to, um, all right, let's do it again, cool. Blah. All right, so let's take a look at our first example of using a trans... What is What are these called? Translations? Transitions. All right. 